my goodness, it's a two-point game. The Atlanta Hawks have crawled their way back into it. I've been watching the game periodically. I didn't expect a comeback. I knew they'd make it close, but to be a two-point game with a minute 26 left is actually unbelievable, guys. The reason why I'm actually going to go ahead and record me reacting to this game, and then we'll get into the stats after, is because, well, one, if I wait until after the game, it's going to come up probably 10, 15 minutes after. I want to get it out just about right away. Trey Young knocks down his first free throw, but... If you guys didn't know, I do have a Troy Young jersey after the game one win over the Knicks. I made a wager that if they, the Hawks won that game, I'd get a jersey. Obviously, I drafted Trey Young 10th in Dynasty. I drafted Embiid 11, which is kind of ironic. But Trey right now has got 36 on 10 of 22 from the field. Super efficient game. You know what he brings to the table, obviously. Besides scoring, he's a great playmaker. He has some a scrappy demeanor to him as well. I'm a huge Trey Young fan. He might be my favorite player in the league right now. A lot of people say that I look like him. Obviously, he's also six foot one like me. Guys, the Hawks lead by one right now with a minute and 26 to play. This is unbelievable. I'm going to pull up the stats now because I want to get this video out as soon as the game's over. This is just, what a comeback by Trey. Yo, they have the jerseys on that I have too. Wow, that's cool, dude. But yeah, let's talk about the stat sheet. Let me just go ahead and pull it up because it's a pretty interesting one to say the least. Bogdanovich, need him to find his rhythm as well. I mean, tonight, guys, he was 3 of 9 from the field. A lot of people, or a lot of Hawks fans at least, told me that he was their second best player. And, I mean, obviously I disagree with it. Actually, hold on, guys. Turn that off. That must have been annoying noise. Yeah, but a lot of people told me that he was their second best player, and I wasn't buying it. John Collins is their second best player. Tonight, he had 19-11 and 11 on 7 of 12 from the field. Another scrappy player that wants to win. That gives it his all. John Collins and Trey Young, this is a very good duo. You pair that with, again, Clint Capella. Bognatovich, Gallinari, Lou Will, Kevin Herter did not score in 27 minutes. I mean, what's going to happen in game six in the A when you have Bognatovich, Kevin Herter, and some other boys as well shooting the ball better? Remember, DeAndre Hunter is not playing the rest of the playoffs. If he was in, he's another body that can knock down shots, that can play high-level defense. Assuming that the Hawks win this game tonight and then close out the Sixers in six, because I, I don't think they're going to win game seven. That, that's all, I mean, they could, but they're such a young team with not a lot of experience. I'd be surprised if they won that game. I'd still root for them and pick them to win because I love the Hawks, but you don't want to go seven here. So they've got to win this game, guys. You're going to get my live reaction again. I know this is going to be a weird video because you guys just saw the game and now you're kind of watching it back, but I think this is going to be kind of a cool video. So again, if you are a Hawks fan, you're still watching at this point, drop a like and subscribe because I want to make Hawks videos. Like I don't have a team in the playoffs, but I mean, the Nets, James Harden is finally back. But overall, if the Hawks beat the Nets, I mean, I wouldn't be too upset. I want to see Harden get a ring and I'd want the Nets to win. But if the Hawks did win, like I wouldn't really care. Oh my God, here we go. Okay, Tobias Harris. Oh, to Embiid. All right, good double, good double. Oh no, he fell down. Got oh, what a block. What a block by John Collins. Oh, they're going to, whoa. What's the call? I have no volume. Let me turn this up. Okay, guys, they're going to review this. Jeez, this is going to take 10 minutes for a minute game. Yo, Atlanta ball, guys. I, dude, that's what I'm saying. I've been praising John Collins. A lot of people said I was crazy, delusional. I don't know basketball. I love John Collins, and he needs to get paid. Oh, that ball was out of bounds right there, though. Who was it off of? I need another look on that. Oh guys, here we go. This is gonna be such a long video. <laughs> this is this might be 15 minute long. I'm not even kidding, guys. Uh, bear with me here. I'll mute that because you probably can hear it. Overall, though, I mean, this is one of the biggest games the Hawks have had in a long time. Obviously, guys, they had that 60 win team with like Kyle Korver, Jeff Teague, Al Horford, Paul Millsap. They didn't get it done in the playoffs, though. They were facing LeBron James. They got swept, and now you're facing the Sixers, who yes are banged up. They're without Danny Green. Embiid isn't 100 percent. But the Hawks, they're not 100% as well. They're missing, again, DeAndre Hunter is not playing. And they're a young team with no playoff experience. Trey Young, John Collins, those are some guys as well that are making their playoff debuts. All right, so here we go. Okay, that's the, that looked like a foul on Tobias Harris. Yeah. All right. And this replay, there's no reason for it to be taking this long. I don't know about you guys, but this is just inexcusable for a replay review to be taking this long. It should be a couple of looks and let's, let's go. It's a playoff game. This kills the Hawks' momentum as well. And this is essentially like a two timeouts if you really think about it. So, all right, let's see what the call is on this, guys. It's going to be Atlanta ball off of Tobias Harris. 
cool. Um, quickly, I want to check. So Lou Will has 15, Gallinari 14. Yo, Lou Will's a plus 27. Gallinari's a plus 11. Salmon Hill's a plus 13. Played 12 minutes. Salmon Hill had some really good spot starts for this team. Akangwu is a plus 12, 6 and 5. He's going to be really good. If it wasn't for Clint Capella, he would have broke out this year for sure as a rookie. Yeah, it's going to be Atlanta ball, guys. A minute and 13 seconds. Hawks are up one. You need buckets here, guys. You need Trey Young, pick and roll. Okay, get a switch. Get someone behind you. Because, dude, Trey Young and Capella pick and rolls, dude. Or even John Collins and Trey Young if you want to pick and pop. But overall, like, Trey Young in general is just so good in the pick and roll. It's, like, almost unguardable. When his floater's on, guys, to, and his three's on as well. I mean, both those are on. He's a top ten player. I can't name ten better players than Trey Young. When he's on, again, not in general. Because Trey's not the best defender. He's... Didn't have the best of season, but overall, when Trey Young's on, he's a top 10 player. Like, tonight he's on. Again, dude, Trey Young right now has 37 and 7. 15 and 7 from the line, 10 of 22. I'm, honestly, he's taken five threes and made two of them, so here we go. They're going to go to Lou Will. Now they're going to kick down to Gallinari. Oh, he's gonna, they're going to attack Seth Curry. I'm honestly okay with this. Gallinari is 5 of 7 right now. He can, yeah, back to Lou Will. Lou will six seconds. Oh god, they're gonna are they gonna double? Let's see. Gallinari have a turnaround fadeaway. Nazi down. Danilo Gallinari. What a shot. Let's go. Yo, Danilo. I wanted that shot right there. Yes, sir. Oh, Seth Curry pull up three. It's off. Get the board. Let's go. Rebounded by Lou Will to Trey Young. Oh my god. A bucket here, guys, might put it away. I mean, obviously they could still come back and score, but a bucket right here makes it look really comfortable right now. Uh, ben Simmons is back in the game to defend Trey Young. You need to screen right here. Where's the screen, guys? They're gonna let they're gonna let Trey go one on one. Okay, crossover. Trey Young step back three. Oh, it's off. Great move. They're gonna call a timeout right here. This is gonna be such a long video. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this type of video. I don't know how it's gonna go, but Trey, yeah, that's a look that Trey wants to have back. He, dude, but honestly, like Trey Young created so much separation. He just knocked down an easy shot for him. It's it is what it is. But man, overall, it's kind of crazy. Oof. I really wish that shot went in because then I would have uploaded this video, but it did not go in. So three-point game. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, they're going to take Ben Simmons out, right? Because then they'll do the hack of Simmons. And even if, if Simmons knocks down one shot, I mean, that's still okay. They scored one point. You still have a two-point lead with the ball. So I honestly, if they keep Simmons in, I'd foul him. If they don't, I would just creep the three-point line because you have free-throw shooters. I mean, a bucket right there, makes again, makes another. You need a three, so... That's what I would do overall, but yeah, what a game right now, dude. The Hawks battle all the way back. What, what were they down? 24 heading into, with like two, they were down 24 or something like that with like two minutes left in the third quarter. I mean, dude, right now the Hawks, they're 35% from three. Philly's 45. Philly's 64 from the line, which really has hurt them. They've missed 13 free throws. The Hawks have missed six in comparison. 46 from the field for the Hawks and 47 from Philly. Uh, assistant... Uh, and um, I'm just I'm in, I can't even talk right now because I'm just so like excited right now for the Hawks, dude. They gotta get this win. I'm like slurring my words, dude. I swear I'm sober, but dude, look at Philly fan. Yo, guys, like Atlanta, dude. I wish I, dude. I had a Hawks page. I just never. I posted a couple of videos on it, but dude, the Hawks are such a cool team, dude. Like Trey Young, like the roster, the fans are low key. Like these guys showed me mad love when I made a video. I got like three thousand six hundred views. I mean, obviously that's big for me right now because I'm not really getting that many views, so. I hope people are still watching this point. I highly doubt it. But if you are, I appreciate you, man. That's all I can say, guys. 21.9 seconds. The game's on the line right here. Let's see. Ben Simmons is in the game, so he's inbounding. He's probably not going to touch it yet. He's just going to run right down. All right. He's only in there for defense on the next possession. All right. Joel Embiid. No threes. No. Yeah, let me drive in. And that's an offense. Oh, they're going to call that a block. Yeah, he was late on that. All right, so Embiid, obviously the Phillies in the bonus, and that was free throws anyway. So the Philly, here's what's going to happen. They're going to get two free throws right here, and that will be down one even if they make both. And then the Hawks have two timeouts, so they're going to advance the basketball. So there's a timeout minimum. There's a timeout coming here. So, All right, Embiid, hopefully he misses one. That would be huge. Hey, Embiid, don't miss. Don't miss, Embiid. Oh, he really missed. He missed. It rolled off. Trey Young is not in for defensive purposes. Why, dude? Get oh, they're gonna—they have a timeout. All right, guys. So here's what I'm gonna do because this—if I, I just no way I'm like another timeout and free throws and stuff like that. I think I'm—I'm I'm gonna upload this video. even if he makes this free throw. I'm still gonna upload this. All right, I want to get this out, dude. And beat his second free throw. 
is off. Oh my goodness. And Embiid missed both. Timeout Hawks, guys. I'm going to upload this video. Hawks fans, congrats on the win. See you guys next game.